And here we go again, cruisers. Welcome back once more with jam-packed daily cruise news updates, all fed directly to you from cruisehive.com. Okay guys, let's seize the day as we kick off proceedings as two Sphere class Princess cruise ships will headline Mediterranean cruises in 2025. Moving along, we have an announcement in regards to new details about Marguerite de Ville at Sea Paradise's upgrades. And we have Carnival news coming right up as Carnival Cruise Line set sail for the biggest ever season in Virginia. Royal Caribbean has announced its long-awaited return to China with Spectrums of the Seas. And finally, Seabone announces that its two ships will be fully equipped with next-generation Wi-Fi connectivity. Okay, and starting us off is Princess Cruises. In honour of its 40th year of sailing in the Mediterranean, Princess Cruises will feature two of its newest state-of-the-art and grander ship, Star Princess and Sun Princess, in the region during the 2025 cruise season. The Sun Princess will head off on various seven-day Mediterranean vacation routes, departing from Barcelona, Rome or Athens. Now, these trips will include visits to renowned ports like Istanbul, Naples and the Greek island of Santorini in the Aegean Sea. The debut of Star Princess is planned for early August 2025, with the vessel heading out for a nine-day tour of Italy and Greece. Margaritaville at Sea has released enticing details about upgrades to their only ship, Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. Now, the vessel is scheduled to enter dry dock on May the 21st and will debut completely refreshed, rejuvenated and upgraded on June the 2nd. Now, among the upgrades are brand new dining venues with expanded menus, new entertainment and shows, state-of-the-art fitness upgrades and updates to the whole of the ship's staterooms. The renovation comes just one year after the ship first entered service. Now, changes are being based not only on operational needs and general maintenance, but also on guest feedback and what travellers want most in a cruise vacation. Carnival Cruise Line's Carnival Magic has arrived in Norfolk to set sail on what will become the cruise line's biggest ever season from the Virginia home port. Now, the Dream Class ship is home porting in Norfolk through late October, offering a variety of Caribbean, Bahamas and Bermuda sailings to bring amazing cruise vacations to the Old Dominion. After the next few months in Virginia, Carnival Magic will return to Florida in late October. Now, depending on the itinerary and sailing date, Carnival Magic will take Virginia cruises to such amazing destinations as Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic, San Juan, Puerto Rico and many more. Additional ships to home port from Norfolk has not yet been announced, but Carnival Cruise Line is committed to offering new sailings from Virginia in the near future. Okay, our next update has a distinctive Asian theme. Royal Caribbean International has made the exciting announcement that it will resume operations in China. The voyages will start with Spectrum of the Seas sailing from Shanghai starting in April 2024. Also in the same year, Anthem of the Seas will be sailing in Asia for the first time. The return of Spectrum of the Seas to China is a significant milestone for the cruise industry in Asia. The cruise ship is both the biggest and the most popular ships to ever operated in China and will operate a series of cruises from Shanghai and Hong Kong. Come December 2024, Spectrum of the Seas will be operating eight sailings from Hong Kong to ports in Japan, Taiwan and lastly Nha Trang in Vietnam. Okay, anyone interested in innovative technology, then this may be right for you. Seabone Venture, the first ship in the Seabone fleet to offer Starlink's Wi-Fi technology on board from the Arctic to Antarctica sailing, beginning with its May the 12th, 2023 voyage. The line's second expedition ship, Seabone Pursuit, will also be equipped with the enhanced Wi-Fi connectivity after it launches in the summer. Now, Seabone's expedition ship will offer guests the best available Wi-Fi experience on board, allowing the best possible connections available to stay in touch with loved ones as they explore some of the most interesting and remote destinations in the world. And it's a goodbye from me. My name is Paul, and thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Don't forget, please check out the all full details on the news updates covered in today's video or any news over on cruisehive.com. If you wish to know more, then make sure you like and share our news channel and hit that subscribe button.